Okay, I want to show you how I import contacts into Outlook. And this is 2010. I've actually done another video for 2007. But I want to show you how to import contacts from Excel into Outlook 2010. I want to take you step by step and let's just do this tutorial for, let's just do this tutorial in plain English. So the first thing that I do is I start in Outlook and I right click on contacts and I create a new folder. And I name the folder, in this case I'm going to name it after a subdivision where I'm teaching. Okay, and that Lincoln is my key. And I'll say okay. Now I'll make sure Lincoln got created, so I'll go and look for it. There it is, and you can see it's empty. There's nothing in it, but not for long. Next I go to Excel, and the very first thing I must do is I must identify a range. So I'm going to highlight, and I like to always start at the bottom of my list right there and let's just take it all the way up and I need to make sure that I have headings so without headings you're not this is not going to work so now when you identify range you highlight you click here and I'm going to call this Lincoln underscore R hit enter another very important thing you need to do after you do that two more critical steps or it doesn't work you must save it as, and this is just the way I do it. There may be other ways, but this always works for me. An Excel 1997 to 2003 workbook. And I'll call this, what I usually call these, Lincoln Estates, and save. If you do not save it as an Excel 97 2003, in this example it won't work because Outlook right now cannot accommodate this is just a c compatibility checkers continue continue with the save you want to make sure that you have something that Outlook can recognize ignore my Google stuff okay so now I have that already set up now number two I said there were two things you must do number one identify the range number two you must save it as a 97 to 2003 workbook and lastly go ahead and close out you do not want it to be open when you finish this so now I go back to Outlook and I find that folder where I want to move those contacts into and there it is Lincoln so I'll go and make sure that's selected now I'll click on my backstage view which is file and I'm going to click on open I'm going to click on import files that's what I'm about to do I want to import from another program a file and what do we save it as a Microsoft Excel 97 2003 so say next now let's go and find the file we want to import. So let's browse. And once I find the file, I don't want duplicate records. I want one copy of each record to come in. Say next the destination folder is the one I named which is why it's important to name that first before you start this process say next and as you can see it's already found my range I'm importing Lincoln R into this folder Lincoln in Outlook the next step is to map custom fields and what you'll see here is on my worksheet I have a registrant name I'm going to move that to the name field in Outlook I have an email address. I'm going to move, map that to the email address field in Outlook. Phone number on my Excel spreadsheet. I want to move that to a phone number in Excel. I mean, yeah, in Outlook, I mean. and everything else I think company is important to have so I'll move that to the company field in Outlook and then I'm going to say OK and I'm done I'm going to hit finish depending on how large your spreadsheet will depend on how long it takes so you can see I now have all of my contacts on my Excel spreadsheet right here in Outlook in a matter of seconds I hope you enjoyed this tip Thanks for watching.